Today we're looking at this X-Force for Tim. He brought it in to see me. And I uh, wanted to make sure it had sideband for his Galaxy 959 to be used at home. I said, well, well, bring it in, we'll open it up, and you can pretty much tell right away these components here are all for biasing. So we see that there's true AB biasing in here, uh, not just a switch on the delay for the relay. <coughs> Problem is, it wasn't designed very well. He used these two that dropped too low, they dropped like 0.1, and they're dropping my, my bias voltage down to like 0.3 when it needs to be more like 0.5 or 0.6. So what we end up with on the scope, you see those bright line right down the middle there, that's where it's ha where the energy of the uh, of the driving RF has to turn the transistor on, and it loses the the middle. If I turn the amp off, audio. Turn that up a little. Audio. That's what it's supposed to look like coming out of the amplifier. Not supposed to have any bright line down on the middle like that. Check, 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 check. It's supposed to look like that coming out. Just bigger. And that's not what we have. We have a bright line distortion in the middle and everything just goes to shit. Audio check, check, check. Alright, so I'm going to fix that and we'll see okay, what we get out of that. With the biasing on this. I got it all closed up and put it away and forgot to show it to you guys. Uh, so here's what the waveform looks like now. One, two, three, four, five. No more bright light in the middle. No more bright line down the center and messing it all up. There's my sideband. Audio check, check, check. Let me show you some barefoot sideband. So you can compare it. That's what it's supposed to look like, just bigger. One, two, three, four, five, audio, check, check. And then when I kick it on, it gets bigger. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, audio, check, 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 audio. One, two, three, four, five.